you know, I think Haliva, when I think of Haliva, I think of the town and just, you know, the old school feel to a town in, in you know, in Hawaii. And um, really small, small feeling. Once you cross that bridge and you come around that turn into the harbor and, and you just kind of sense, you know, it's going to be on. You know, I, I think of like the beach itself and and all the kids on the North Shore, they learned how to surf at Haleiwa. They do the Manahuni, the Haleiwa Manahuni, which is the best Grom event around. Uh, been going on for 40 plus years. As you get a little better, you can kind of graduate to the outside and surf some of the biggest waves of your life. When Holly was maxing out at about eight to twelve foot, you know the 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 ledge on the outside is where you take off, and fully barrels can go pretty square. You can drop right into the barrel. Once you come out, you know you get this crazy canvas. You know, I think of just many different generations of surfers out there. You know, a lot of them that stand out to me would be Sonny Garcia. Hi, Sonny. Hello. <laughs> I think he, he went out there, I don't know, four or five times. Ladies and gentlemen, from the west side, defending champion, two-time champion now, the one Gallery's Hawaii Pro, it is Sonny Garcia. <laughs> Guys like Sean Moody, would attack the lip. Um, you know, I think of uh, Kaifo Hakia stands out to me. I remember watching him at, at 1996 Hawaiian Pro where he just just killed it. It was, it was, I think it was six to eight, maybe 10 foot and just put on a clinic really. Then there's Kelly who bridges all the gaps out there. I videoed you last year at Pipe. Think about it. Yeah, a couple of like to He out there quite a bit. He's pretty good, I'd say. And now watch this. Just so much power. I think Haleiwa, it, it just likes a, a powerful surfer. It just, that's what suits that wave, you know? You can't come in and be kind of checky and do, do soft turns. It'll just kind of deny you. So you really need to attack and, and really open up on your turns out there. You know, you pull up and you look and hopefully it's not washing through. Usually it can handle up to about 12 foot. After that, what you'll get is a big, basically close out um, from Avalanche all the way through almost Puana Point, you know, let alone Haleiwa right there in the middle. Um, you know, Haleiwa likes a more of a Northwest or a more of a Westerly direction.
but just a really, really amazing wave. Tricky wave to surf, you know, because you think about the water moving from left to right. So all the water kind of washes from avalanche when it's a big, big swell, washes over the shelf into the trench, which does cause a pretty strong current. And so positioning is always key at Haleiwa. You know, most people that don't surf there a lot hate it because the current's so strong. Most of the locals that surf the wave love it because it kind of, it keeps you honest and it keeps, you need to be on it with your positioning. And if you kind of stop paddling from right to left to keep yourself in position, you pretty much will get smoked. And not really a fun wave to get, to get pounded at. You know, it, it'll break your leash. Uh, it'll hold you down for long periods. Um, if you do lose your board, basically the current will take it all the way around towards, um, towards the jetty there and the harbor. And so it'll be the longest swim of your life. Kind of a really good high risk, high reward wave. You know, I don't think there's a better wave. You know, if you get an eight to 10 foot wave, you know, from the West Peak and you drop in and maybe get a barrel or do some of the best carbs of your life. You know, it's just, it's just so fun. Tons of history with this wave. You know, I think back to the families that paved the way from the Foster Bloomfield Ohana to the Dolans, to the Patachias and the Moody's. And then you got the newer generation of surfers out there and um, just a special place to grow up. Mm -hmm.